what's up welcome back to another vlog y'all i know it's been a little minute i took a little break y'all because there was just so much going on y'all know it was just father's day i just celebrated my birthday two days ago today is june 22nd and my birthday was on june the 20th so your girl's back. I had like picked up the camera maybe like a week or two ago and I filmed like a quick little clip. I'll insert it somewhere when I'm at that point, but I had um, gotten two doors from Ikea because I told y'all I was thinking about adding doors to my bookcases. I'll show y'all how everything is looking. I'm loving it. So I finally made a decision. <laughs> your girl is like queen and decisive. So I finally like made a decision in that regard and I'm happy so far with how everything is looking y'all. Oh my God, my office is making me so happy because my shelves have filled out so much. Like I said, I just had a birthday and for my birthday, my husband spoiled me so much. Like he wrapped this huge box him and the kids and um, when I opened it, it was full of books. So like my bookcase, if y'all hear that banging, my husband is fixing our dresser legs. We're just gonna have to work through the banging. Hopefully y'all can't hear it and it doesn't disturb your ears that much. But anyways, there is like, it looks so good. So I was like trying to figure out like, what's the vibe? Like, how do I want my bookcases to look? So I kind of have it laid out like I like it. Now I am gonna be adding more books um, and I do have space for that. But right now, how everything looks, ah, I love it. I can't wait to show y'all. And also like the new doors. And remember I had gotten olive trees and I never even pulled them out the box because I was waiting to get the planters. Well, the planters came back in stock, y'all. So I have two of those planters um, from Walmart. I'm gonna show y'all. And then I got a couple pictures too to hang up. So yeah, just a few things. Not too much, not too much, you know, just enough. I just wanted to like at least come on and give y'all a little vlog. I'm not sure if it'll be like super long, but y'all know we can get chatty sometimes. You know, I'd be like, oh, it's not gonna be too much. And then we get the chatting, honey. First, since I'm in my office, I'll start in my office and show y'all like what we got going on in here. But y'all look at my nails. These are my, I don't even know if it's clear. I did my nails for my birthday um, and I love them. I had an amazing birthday. Like it was good. It's always good. It's a good time just being with your family sometimes. Like it's just a good day. Um, so it was really nice. Today y'all, it's currently 157. It's almost two o'clock y'all and your girl been cleaning house. I've burnt so many calories. I've gotten like 7,000 steps already just from cleaning my house like I but I've mostly been upstairs just vacuuming catching up on laundry bathrooms I came downstairs I cleaned the living room it's just like a catch-up day the house wasn't a mess but you know like dusting and stuff that doesn't get done as often as it should I've been doing stuff like that so I'm a little hot and tired but let's let's look around let's look around all right so we are in my office excuse my desk I don't know. I'll probably always say that because that's just the type of person I am. I did go ahead and bring this lamp in here. This is the lamp that was in my living room. My fan is going to stay there. And then I have my chairs. I'm loving the curtains in here still. As you can see, though, immediately right here in the middle, there's two doors. These doors here, they weren't here. So I'm loving this. Because now I have room for more stuff. See, it's not that much in there. So I can fill this up, which super excited about. But y'all, look at my books. Are you kidding? My hubby gave me so many books for my birthday. Like, it's unreal. And I know for some people, like, books for your birthday, that's boring. No, I'm a bookie. <laughs> but this is so cute, y'all. Like, this brings me joy. Are you kidding me? So I organized these actually on my birthday because I was just so excited. But I love so far how everything's looking. And I even ordered more books, y'all. So I have more books coming soon very very soon i think like this weekend doesn't this look so cute y'all like this is a girl's dream this is a girl's dream and like the shelves at the bottom i'm gonna leave these open for books so the sides if you see how like i did the middle cabinets here but then on the sides y'all get a sneak peek of that planner i left it open because i want to do books along both end caps and then books at the top and then storage here for my nails and nail supplies to ship out my orders. But since we're here, I might as well show y'all. This is the planter, y'all, that I was waiting to come back in stock 
from Walmart. Freaking $29, y'all. $30. Let's just round it up. $30 for this. It is so cute. But y'all, it's such a nice size planter. I didn't take the plastic off or anything because I was like, they're going to be so mad at me if I do all this stuff without them. But this is so nice. I love it. It's so nice. And I'm honestly, I got two of these. And I'm thinking about getting another one to put outside by the front door because I think it's so nice. So I'm thinking that this is where I want to put my olive tree. I think it's slim. We haven't looked at it. We're going to look at it together though. I'm going to open my olive tree and we'll see how it looks. I put one here. There's a lamp there. And this is like where I sit and read. I always have my Kindle. I may or may not get something really, really, really slim to go here. Not taking up too much space because I actually scooted everything in some. Sorry, I just got y'all talking to the shelves. I also ordered a custom like business plaque type of situation. Um, it's so cute, y'all. It has Vons Press Perfections. That's my press on business. And I was gonna put it on my bookshelves. I'm like, oh, that's gonna look so cute. But I'm thinking about putting it at the top in the middle. It's not huge. Um, I got the biggest size she offered and I'm so excited. Now it does take like a month to a month and a half to get. So I just recently ordered it. So it'll be a month to a month and a half before I get it. But when I get it, I cannot wait to show y'all. Like it's so cute. Y'all see my box? This box was full of books for my birthday. And it was just the cutest thing ever. Of course I got bags and Everything I asked my husband for dinner and it was just such a good day. Cupcakes and I just enjoyed myself. But um, the books, <laughs> excuse me, y'all need another look, look. It's looking so good in here, y'all. But before we pull out the olive tree, let me show y'all. I cleaned my living room, y'all. I showed y'all, I kind of put on the screen a picture that I had seen when I was out. Well, I actually ordered it, so I'll get it today. Ordered it for pickup. Um, so it'll go on this wall. And that's going to be that. And then I'm going to go ahead and order the same curtains here for this window here and this window here. So that's going to kind of complete this area. The only thing I put in there in here is a tray for like coasters and our remote because yeah, we just don't like a whole bunch of stuff on our coffee table. Honestly, like I've tried like planters and books and stuff, but y'all, my husband gets annoyed with that stuff. Like we get annoyed. He like to prop his feet on the table. And who am I to tell this man not to put his feet on the table? Y'all do what y'all want to do in y'all house. But my man, he can prop his feet on the table, baby. Like this is house too. <laughs> but anyway, the picture is going to go on this wall, it's a pretty good size picture. I think it's gonna look beautiful. We're gonna do curtains here. There's gonna be a lamp in this corner. I haven't found one yet, y'all. I'm still on the hunt. But once I put that lamp there, I think that's it because the curtains will probably come out like here. So I don't think we'll put anything in between like pictures. I just think it'll be a little bit too much going on. But here's the other planter here just like the one in there and i knew i wanted it here i've always if you've been following me for a while you know i always have an olive tree by my tv but i gave that one away i wanted another olive tree by my tv i don't know i just like that that's just something that i like so it's gonna go here and i have both of them right here and y'all another thing that i bought that i forgot about oh hobby lobby you know every other week everything's half off i got these cute little pictures here for the um, half bath and they are $18.99 so like $19 so I got these for like $9 a piece y'all and I thought these would be really cute to like stagger stack on the wall in the half bath I think it's gonna look really cute I also think I'm gonna do like a floating shelves in there to add you know something some type of storage so I have those I have two six feet olive trees here and one will go in the living room and one will go in my office. And then I do want one to go upstairs. At some point, I want another one to go upstairs, but I'm not quite there yet. But I'm going to run upstairs real quick and show y'all the picture that I got to go above my bed. Because that's another thing I got. So I've been getting stuff, y'all. I just got to pick up the camera. But I saved it because, like, I was going to just be like, hang the picture, babe. But I was like... 
that would be kind of wrong to not like show my friends. So I'm about to take y'all and show y'all the picture that I got for my bedroom real quick. And then I think we'll do the trees first. Now I didn't get the moss, which is easy. I can order the moss and it'll either come today or tomorrow and we can add that. But for now, at least getting the tree out, we'll see how it looks. You know what I'm saying? The height of it and how I want to do it. I like Spanish moss, so I'll just order that. But let's go upstairs and see the pictures. All right, upstairs in my bedroom. Here's the picture that I got. Oh Lord. I'm not gonna tell you I almost fell, but excuse the mess. My husband is cleaning up after fixing the dresser legs. Here's a picture. It's very, very pretty. It is nice and textured. I don't even know if it's coming off, but it's beautiful. $40, so it was half off. Here's the picture. Isn't that beautiful? At first I was like, oh, that's kind of big, but I'm gonna go with this. It's really cute. I cleaned up today and I think it's gonna look really nice excuse my man may say hi hey, what's up? <laughs> um but yeah it looks so good there's no lights on so like my headboard looks really weird on camera but that's gonna look really good so we'll hang that up today for sure but first let's go do the olive trees y'all know we diy a dresser and we need to like repaint got a little scratched up in the move just like not e just in one little spot so we gotta get some paint and fix that but yeah it looks good i just cleaned up so my husband gotta get his tools y'all gotta get his tools but anyways let's do that Okay, so I do want to fiddle and fluff it just a little bit more and adjust it, but it's so cute. Are you kidding me? This is so cute. I think I like the height perfectly well, so I won't elevate it at all because like this fits perfectly here. See, I feel like because it's two separate pieces, this section I just need to play with. Ooh, my camera battery's low. But the beautiful thing about this camera, it only takes like 10 minutes to get a full charge. But yeah, I think I'm gonna shift these pieces around and then I'll come back and show y'all once I get it, how I like it and charge up my battery. But isn't it so cute? I almost forgot that this had plastic on it. We gotta take that off. That don't look cute. I got my little helper over here. My little Sydney. How do we get the plastic off? Without cutting it. Oh, there we go. Okay, here we go. Let's see if they don't want to cut it. Luda probably did this before I put it here. And now we got to try our best. All right, grab the plastic, baby. Thank you. There's literally like so many eyelashes in my eye. I'm not making this up. Yeah, yeah. No, I'm not. I want some watermelon. Mom, stop back there for watermelon. Why? Because there's no such thing as watermelon. They're not gonna have no eyeliner for you. They're not gonna have none for me? Yeah. Why? Because. Y'all, oh my God, there was like 10 eyelashes in my eye. I can't make this up. Like this is a real life break. I don't even know if I'm keeping this in the video, but there, there had to be 10 eyelashes in my eye. <laughs> Ask me how that happened. And I feel like there's like 10 more. But anyways, look at the tree. So it's super cute. Love it. See it, girl, you just gone crazy. It's so cute, y'all. Here's the tree. It's so pretty. It's gonna have moss, don't worry. But this is it without Ow. the plastic. It's so cute. So I will link both. And if it's in stock, snag it because y'all, I've been looking for this for at least two months. She wants the olives. <laughs> Y'all, at the other house, she was plucking my olives off. She'll be like, I don't know what happened, mommy. It adds a good amount of greenery in here. Let's put my tree in my office now. I can't wait to see this tree. I don't know what it looks like. I, 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 I think it's green. You think it's green? So let's just go ahead and take the plastic off first so we don't have to worry about it. Okay, so like the sun is not doing us any 
favors but i promise you it's cute i've got to fluff it and adjust it i think i may like angle it i kind of just want it in this corner that's cute okay i like it Ooh, that was crazy but i know i just showed y'all me putting an olive tree in my office but y'all i decided that i wasn't feeling the vibe like i even rearranged my office and i'm actually glad i did because this is a vibe like when I'm sitting here, you can see my bookcases behind me and I really like this so much. Um, this is the way I primarily sit because I do nails more than anything. And if I turn this way, that's where I edit and um, just process orders or whatever I'm doing. So I think this is a really nice view, <laughs> if I do say so myself. So I really like it. Um, my husband had come in and was like, oh, I don't really like it. And at first I was like, oh, you don't like it? You know, cause like when you're excited about something, you want people to like it. But genuinely I was asking him cause I wasn't loving it myself either. Like if I'm just being honest, now, did I love the tree and the planter? 100%, it was, it's beautiful. I love it in my living room. I just didn't love it in the space. I don't want anything to take away. I feel like the um, the showstoppers in my office, it's my bookcases. I work so hard on them. It's something that I've always wanted. I'm a bookie and this is very, like, it's just something I'm proud of. I worked so hard on and I like to display my books and I don't want anything like overshadowing it or covering it up. So no olive tree in the office, but it's fine because I told you I was going to get another tree to put in my bedroom. Well, I just took it upstairs and I'll show y'all um, when I go up there. So I put it upstairs in the corner where I want to get a full body mirror um, in my room. I want to get like maybe an arch mirror to put on that wall and already in my bedroom, I love it. So it just wasn't meant to be down here, but it's meant to be in my house. Basically, um, we just scrapped that idea, but that's okay. That's how things work. So if you were sitting there typing like, oh, I don't like the tree, girl, backspace, if you made it this far. <laughs> I do like the tree, I just don't like it in my office. So it's not gonna be in here. It's gone. Let's see. This corner is back like it was and I love it. Yo, I'm so tired. It's like 3.30 and I'm hungry, but I don't think I'm gonna eat lunch. At this point, it's, it's no point in eating lunch, honey. We may as well just, just fast on to dinner. But I do wanna show y'all. So my desk, it looks the same, but it doesn't. So I have an L-shaped desk, but one of my L's is longer than the other. And I had the short piece where you could see when you walk into the room and it worked for a little while and i had the long piece here where i did nails but it's just well actually i kid i actually shifted it all the way around um and i'll show y'all i had my desk facing this way the window and it was okay but now i have it facing this way so when i look I can see out like not really into the house but into the house you know but i like this a lot better it's just to me flows better it looks good all right so here is my office now so the desk is just shifted around but from this angle as you can see the long l is here and the shorter l is here and this is just my computer only thing i do over here is work on my computer so i actually need to shift it over just a little bit and here's my workspace which i'm about to work now but i like this so much better because then behind me there is my beautiful beautiful bookcases i love i'm super proud of them i'll never stop showing them off never ever and if you're tired girl go be tired somewhere else because i'm never gonna stop showing them off so my office is just about done literally i'm gonna get art on my wall and that's it that's it that's all don't ask me if i'm putting nothing nope nothing else i'm a very minimal ish person and i love the way it looks in here at my fan because i get hot and it's perfect because i walk on my walking pad literally six days a week and i like my fan to like directly blow on me while i'm walking because i be hot and it's just it works out perfectly so to me this looks and functions better because before when i would sit at my desk and i would make a video you couldn't really see anything behind me but now you can see my bookcases and this looks super duper nice i really really love the way that turned out so another thing that i saw y'all talking about in the comments y'all i do be reading y'all comments even when y'all talking to each other it's just so special and funny to me um but we were uh putting the shoe cabinet together in the last vlog that i put out and we love it um with the legs and the added height it's so perfect um 
it's just always neat right there, which I love that. I love a neat and put together area. Um, but now my entryway <laughs> is suffering right in front of me because I don't know what I'm gonna do here. And like I said, I'm gonna get a new table. I guess I should start looking for a new entryway table. Yeah, I, I have a couple um, things that I know I wanna uh, get moving forward. Uh, a couple things that are gonna be coming up next. We were saying, you know, I was like, oh, I'm not gonna do that much on this table or whatever. And then when I sit with stuff, I'm like, hmm, I think I want a lamp there for cozy vibes. Well, I already had a lamp, y'all. It was just on this entryway table, a small lamp, because I know that table is not wide. So my lamp that's here, that was on my entryway table, I grabbed it today, I put it over there. It works perfectly. I'm about to show y'all in just a minute. Um, it works perfectly right there in the little key basket is there. I probably will add um, some type of vase and florals. You guys were saying like get a plant. The plant ain't gonna survive without no window and I had I don't have a green thumb. As you can see, I don't have any live plants. I don't plan on getting any. I'm sorry if that offends you, baby. Your girl done tried the plant thing. I done killed plants that people say, nobody can kill this plant. I can, okay? They don't survive me, so. We just gonna keep the plants on the outside around here, okay, honey? I just got to be honest with myself. My thumbs ain't green, okay? My thumbs can't produce things that can make me some green. So I'll probably just get a vase. This is so dusty. A vase with uh, some florals and keep the little key bowl there and the lamp. And it's so cozy over there. I have the lamp like dim. Love it. Love it, love it, love it. And then I want to work on the half bathroom. Now, me personally, like, I like to get my house together. Uh, I'm not, like, the best decorator in the world. But I just know how I like my stuff personally. I do things that I like for me. You know, it's just my preference. I can't decorate for nobody else. I just know how I like my house to look. And I don't like a whole bunch of stuff. So, you know, if you be like, you should put something on that wall. I'm probably not. I don't, I don't like a whole bunch of stuff on every wall. It start looking like crackle barrel and in the hot mess and I get overwhelmed. But I do want to work on a half bathroom, but y'all bathrooms and me, I don't know. I just it never comes to me. But we gonna work on it. I have I have an idea. I just don't have a well built out idea. Like I know. Um I just don't have a well like thought out idea. So I'm hoping, like, I know I want floating shelves, I think, because I like that look. The pictures I got, I like those. Um, I know I want some type of a rug in front of the, like, pedestal sink and something in the corner. I just, I don't know. I don't know. So it may be a while before that comes together, but I'm really liking how everything else in the house is starting to look. And it's starting to feel, like, homey and everything else. Um, so, yeah, let me show y'all how the lamp looks. And then once my husband gets back home... He's actually picking up that picture I told y'all that I wanted. I don't know that we'll hang the picture in the living room today, but I know for a fact we'll hang the one upstairs in the bedroom today. But either way, you'll get to see it. Um, but let's go look at the lamp. A clean kitchen will do it every time. It smells so good in here, y'all. But y'all see my area? It's, it's so clean, y'all. It's so clean. I definitely want like a cute little runner rug right here. Something nice. I'm gonna look on Amazon. I get all my rugs from Amazon. I'm not gonna cut on the light because I want to show y'all. But this lamp is perfect here. Like it's small, doesn't take up much space, and I have it dimmed. Love it. It's so cozy. And y'all, these shadows on the wall is from the lamp. Cute, cute, cute. Love it. I'm loving it with the lamp. And I'll probably just scoot this bowl over and add something here in the future. This will be so fun to decorate during the holidays, though. I'm I'm liking that I'm giving myself spaces to decorate i think about that too like fall and christmas it'll give me some spaces to put things so this is really cute and i kind of like it like this it's very minimal i like minimal so if i don't end up adding florals don't don't be mad because i like i'm into my minimal um only having things that are necessary not too much extra let me know if that's you like do you like having a lot of extra stuff or do you kind of like having the essential things that you need like to me, this looks so good. I like it. It's so cute. Also, my husband is back with the picture. So I want to show y'all how it looks. It's so cute. Now, like I said, I don't know if we're going to hang it up today or tomorrow. Maybe we, we might, we might not. But let me show y'all how it looks. So this is it in the living room. It's such a nice size. I love it, y'all. Oh, thank you, see you. She said it's so cute. So this is the picture, y'all. I love it. It's textured. It's so cute. It's like cream and just 
neutral and i think it's gonna look so beautiful on this wall here this is the plan for it to go somewhere on this wall you just set it there for now once we have that up and the curtains pretty much done with the living room and i'm super happy i'm just happy to have the picture got it from kirkland's really like the texture and then the wooden frame it's so nice here is the skew if you want to type it in screenshot that's how i was able to find it online so there it is it's gonna look so good right here on the wall but yeah y'all i just want to show y'all like we're obviously not about to hang that picture right now but when we do of course i'll show y'all but now y'all kind of get the vibe it's really cozy in here neutrals loving a planter speaking of planters maybe i'll show y'all the other one real quick here is the other olive tree I put it upstairs in my room, right here in this corner, y'all. And to see how good it looks, it just looks so good. Right beside it will be a mirror. So I'll do some type of mirror here. And, sorry, I'm breathing. <laughs> I feel like this is nice. Like, I like it up here in my bedroom. As soon as I put it up here, I was like, oh, yeah, that's it. If you like it up here? Yeah. He didn't like it downstairs at all, did you? the oh, tree yeah, yeah he didn't like it i told them you know what i had to be honest with myself it just wasn't the vibe but it's gonna look good with the mirror here but yeah y'all that's that that's the picture or whatever i'll come back and show y'all whenever we hang up the picture my husband is resting he is tired he did all his yard work this morning and it's been go 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 ever since so after we rest a little bit and hang up the picture then i'll show y'all how it looks hey y'all happy sunday today is june 23rd and I wanted to come back and show y'all. So today, my husband just hung up the picture in the living room. It's so cute. I'm about to show y'all. But last night, we did um, hang the picture over the bed. And it is looking so good in my room. I'm loving it. I love the olive tree in there. Um, all I need is my mirror in there. It's going to look so good. Um, and some curtains, which I already know which curtains I want. I actually want the same curtains I have here in my office. Just in a warmer tone, so that's what I'm gonna end up getting. And also, the Spanish moss got delivered yesterday evening, but I was exhausted. I did the absolute most yesterday. Like, it was a cleaning day, like a full fledged cleaning day, and I was exhausted. My body was aching, my legs were sore, like, I had worked out really hard. I was just up and down the stairs all day, so y'all, I was too tired to come back, but. I'm gonna show y'all now. So first I'll show y'all how the picture looks in the living room. And then I'll take y'all upstairs and show y'all that picture. But it's coming together y'all, it's coming together. I'm happy, I love seeing things come together in the house. Uh, I can't wait till everything is done. And then, you know, it's just complete and I get to just sit with it and enjoy it for a while before like, it's time to like add a little more for seasonal and stuff. But yeah, y'all, I'm just getting a new house together. I'm actually sitting here working on an order that I do want to get done. So I'm going to show y'all this real quickly. And then I'm going to get back to working on an order. And then I'll probably, I got to find some old like covers or something to stuff in the planters. And then I'll put some cardboard on top to hold, you know, the moss on top just to keep the mess to a minimum. I don't know what covers I used the last time. I think I probably got rid of them. So we'll see. Anyway, come on, let's go see. In the living room, and here's the picture, is hung up on the wall. And I swear, cameras just don't do justice to how it looks. It looks so good. Like literally the only thing missing is curtains. But it looks so good on the wall. And I decided I am gonna probably do a picture light here on top. It's so pretty and it's such a good size. I'm telling you when I tell you, the camera is not doing it justice because these lenses be wide, but y'all, it's beautiful. I absolutely love it. I'm so happy with how it looks on the wall. And I think it's perfect. But I do want to do just a little picture light, boom, somewhere right there. Um, I'm actually about to order it right now. I've never done a picture light before. And then in this corner here, I don't know if I told y'all, but there'll be a lamp. And then my curtains here. And that's pretty much it. I'm gonna add the moss to the olive tree. But like even just from this angle, it's so pretty. I love it. You guys will have to let me know what you think, but I think it's so pretty. It's the perfect blends of neutrals. Like it's pulling up almost grays and I don't even think there's grays on the picture, but it's pulling it anyways. But like the tans, the beige, the creams, the whites, 
all of it. I love it. My living room is looking so beautiful. I didn't fluff my pillows or anything. So yeah, there's that. But absolutely love it. Love, love, love. They made me so happy, y'all. That's why I'm giving y'all all the views because I'm so happy with it. Now let's go upstairs and see the picture in my bedroom. All right, upstairs and here's my bedroom with the picture. It's so beautiful. It looks so good, y'all. Like, I feel like it just ties the colors together so nicely in here. I love the black frame on this picture. It's beautiful. You have to let me know what you think, but I definitely love it. It is here to stay. <laughs> the next thing that I'm probably gonna do is go ahead and order the curtains for my bedroom. So that'll probably be here real, real soon. I'll order my curtains. We're gonna do the moss here and my mirror. So I think I want an arch mirror just because um, there's so many rectangles and you know, I'm thinking just arch mirror right there, black framed and then the tree, my curtains. And that's gonna pretty much complete the room. My husband uses that little table when he wants to come in the room and sit and work. We do sit in this little sitting area. We love having it here. This is just a natural light, kind of overcast, but it looks really cute. I'm really happy with the rug choices I made in this house, y'all. I'm always nervous that, you know, the rug's not gonna go how I envision it, but I'm super duper happy with the rug choices. And I'm super duper happy that I decided to bring this tree upstairs. I think it just goes so much better upstairs. Let me know what y'all think. Kind of creeped me out last night. I was like, who's that standing in that corner? <laughs> Cause I'm not used to having nothing there. The only other thing, there is a big empty wall here. So I will figure out what I want to put there sometime in the future. It will not be now, but I will be figuring out something there. I do feel like it needs something just because it's very, very bare. Hey y'all, happy Sunday. Today is actually June 30th. So it's been a little minute since I picked up the camera. Probably a big minute y'all. I'm so terrible at this. So I think the last thing I showed y'all, we had hung up the picture in the living room. I told y'all we we're gonna add a picture light. So I will be showing y'all that. But as you can see, I'm in my office and things probably look different from the last time I showed y'all my office. I kept this set up because I absolutely love it. Love it, love it, love it y'all. I'm so glad that I decided to like literally just changed the way my desk was facing. It has just done wonders for my de for my office. I've actually been enjoying myself in here a lot more lately. I've been sitting in my chairs a lot more. I've been enjoying some reading and it's been really, really nice. Getting those reading goals in y'all because I've been slacking a lot, but your girl loves to read, okay? I'm like so deep in this Faded Born series right now. I'm on book two. I finished book one yesterday in one day. I'm probably going to finish book two today. I'm about to start. As soon as I get off of here, I'm going to order me some groceries because it's Sunday. Y'all know I get groceries on Sunday. And then I'm going to get deep up into that book, y'all. But but show y'all, I organize my books by category, which I love that for me. If you don't like books, I'm sorry. But yeah, girl, I like books, okay? So I'm going to kind of give y'all a quick little like tour of my little home library. All right, y'all. Here is how the shelves are looking so pretty y'all so, as y'all know I opted to keep the ends open so I'm about to go ahead and order the uppers the extenders I'm about to go ahead and order the extenders y'all we taking the bookshelves all the way up this little end cap here these are all my dark romance so if you are a dark romance reader these this is my dark romance section here I don't have that much because I'm kind of a noob to dark romance okay I don't know how I feel about it <laughs> anyway but these are like mostly thrillers plus a few that are just random here this is my romance section I'm really trying to be a romance reading person because i don't know just trying okay so building my romance collection like i said i got a ton of books for my birthday <laughs> shout out to my man i'm just saying but this is my romance section here we love her it looks so pretty I actually have more books coming today that i'm gonna have to add to this section this is another like thriller section here and then right here i have some like books that don't quite fit in the romance these are like dystopian uh, fantasy dystopian and then these are fantasy but this is also my fantasy section and it's quite full so I ended up putting those there this is all fantasy which I love 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 fantasy is like my number one genre of choice and then also thriller and then I'm trying to get into romance and dark romance a little bit um, but your girl loves her a good fantasy romanticy um a good thriller period psychological thrillers thrillers are not scary for those people they'd be like oh i don't want to read nothing it's not scary if you could watch a lifetime movie baby you could read a thriller there's no difference okay turn that tv off you got time <laughs> this is a series i'm currently reading just finished faded born yesterday i'm reading faded rain today 
Can't wait. But anyway, y'all, that looks so good. I also got, this is the blanket that I got for in here. This is the exact same blanket that I have in my living room, but I bought another one from Target for my office. Y'all, it was on sale for $18. Stop it. It was on sale for $18. So now I have two of them. So this one stays in my office and I love it. I also have my little task lamp, which I love the moody lighting in here, y'all. So yeah, it's looking pretty good in here, y'all. I'm loving the vibes. I love being in here reading all day long in the evening. I have all the lights on now, but usually I just have the natural sunlight and I'm chilling and it's such a vibe. So uh, let's go look at the picture light. So here's the living room and there's my girl Sid. Say, hey Sid. <laughs> oh, anyway, here is the picture with the light, y'all. And I love it. I feel like it just added something to it. It really vibes with the vibe of the living room. So here's it with the light off. It comes with a little remote. And so I'm gonna cut it on. Now, you're not gonna get the full vibe during the day. I may come back at night and just film a quick little clip or add a picture on the screen so you can see how it looks. But even during the day, it looks so good. You can put it on a timer. Now, I'll show you this with the light dimmed more. So this is like at the most dim and then we'll cut it up some. That's a little more, more, more. And that's as bright as it gets, but it looks so good here. And this picture is about 60 inches wide and this picture light is 20 or 22 inches wide. And it's directly in the center. And I think it looks so good y'all. Like this wall looks amazing. It looks amazing. I still have to add the moss to this tree. I promise y'all I have the moss. It just has not been added. But the vibes in here, immaculate. Absolute love. Absolutely love. So let me know if you are feeling the vibes with the picture and the picture light. Because I really, really like it a lot. But like I said, usually in the evenings, I'll turn this on. I put a little timer on and it looks amazing. I normally don't keep it up so high. I usually put it on like, not quite the lowest, but like the next to the lowest. And it's a vibe up in here. It's cute, right, see? But anyway, y'all, I just wanted to catch y'all up on that, show y'all how that was looking. Let me know what you think. I think the living room, this is 95% complete. The only thing we're missing is our curtains and our lamp. So I'll say 90% complete because we're looking for a really cute lamp. I kind of want one that kind of arches over the edge of this couch a little bit. And then we'll do our pleated curtains on this wall and we'll complete that. And that's it. We're not adding anything else to this space. That's that for that. It looks beautiful. So cute. It brings me joy. Just to walk by here and see something hanging on this wall, y'all. Because <laughs> this is a big wall to be empty. So yeah, absolutely love it. So there's that update. We're going to cut that off. During the day, this is just how it looks. So anyway, y'all, that's pretty much the home updates for this vlog. I'm going to end it here. I don't want to drag it because this vlog has been forever coming. And I need to get it edited and out to y'all because... I've been filming it for the longest now per usual, okay? So I hope y'all enjoy all the updates and look forward to the updates to come. Thank y'all so much for tuning in and watching. Don't forget to leave it a like if you enjoy. Leave your girl a comment if you want to. Subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye!